by broadcast, I mean it's not actually broadcast because it's streamed on YouTube. And it's not also your regular anime say. This is actually a new thing I'm going to be doing. I, Luke Halliday, your host with a piece of toast, which I don't have right now, is going to be doing mini episode reviews moving forward for a variety of different series. And today I'm going to be starting off with Hunter x Hunter, episode 45. Now, just to let you know, these little mini reviews, this is going to be a mini episode review, I'm going to recap the episode and see what I thought about it. I'm going to be doing a few different series, I haven't decided on all of them yet, set in stone. I know for a fact I'm going to be doing Hunter x Hunter moving forward, definitely. I love this series, I'm going to be definitely doing it moving forward. I'm going to be trying to do some series that I know other anime YouTubers out there, anime community YouTubers aren't doing. Uh, Hunter Hunter is one that's not being done too much, so I'm, I'm definitely doing that. I might maybe be doing skip names. I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know. Well, you'll find out. Anyways, let's move on to Hunter x Hunter. And... Come on. Alrighty. Now, this was a pretty interesting episode of Hunter Hunter. Um, I, I'm up to date with the manga, so I, I know what's going to happen, but still this is a very interesting episode. This episode contains the fallout of the whole Shadow Beast and Uvergi battle sort of thing. So pretty much, Karapika has kidnapped Uvo after the battle with the Shadow Beast. Uvo can't move, he's, he's chained up and all the Astral family bodyguards have got him chained down to this metal table sort of thing. Now they got him on the table and they're trying to get information from him. Because what they don't know is that the Shadow Beasts actually have the treasure that the, um, what's it called, the troop was after. So, they don't, the Nostrad bodyguards don't know that the Shadow Beasts have it. But the troop does know that the Shadow Beasts have it. So the troop, they're off dealing with the Shadow Beasts. Because Al jumps down in the car and he's like trying to stop them, whatever. So they have, the troop is trying to deal with the Shadow Beasts right now. And, you know, they make quick work, quick work of them. They pretty much just demolish these guys like, really quickly. It's, it's funny, they, they Madhouse added a bit of filler into this bit, sort of like extended the Shadow Beast. So they have like the Shadow Beast, one of them is like, oh, the troop, they look weak, sort of thing like that. And Fatehead's just like, bitch please, bitch please. And next thing we know, they're just like lying mangled corpses. Some of them look like they're cut up and there's blood everywhere. It's freaking <laughs> insane. Anyways, then after that, we go back to the, we go back to the Strap Water Guards, and they got to go down. And Dazzling, you know the leader guy, he's got he's got the he's got a sword, and he's like trying to say trying to tell you go, you got to tell us where where the treasure is. Once again, they have no idea that the mafia has had the treasure the whole time. The troop has never had it, so <laughs> they're torturing this guy when he <laughs> does not even have it. They did not get it. Anyways, so he stabs the thing, but Uvo's skin is like so fucking, it's just like iron. This shit is iron, and he, he enforces it with his Nen, or his Ren, so that makes it even more stronger, and the blade snaps, flies off, hits a wall, and it's like cuts through the wall. Anyways, so, Uvo's like, oh, I'll make a deal with you, we don't have, we, the Shadow Beasts have the treasure, we don't have it, you grunt, low grade grunts, obviously you get the memo, so, Krabby is like, you know what, fuck this shit, Krabby's like, what the hell happened to our friends at the auction, and he's like, oh yeah, they're dead. So crap is just like, you know what? Chain bars, playing bitch, punch around the face. And Uvo is just like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, boy. You shouldn't have done that. So now Uvo's got the shits. Uvo pretty much eventually gets out. Long story short, Troop comes in, pretending to be Mafia, and Dazzling dead. So Dazzling is killed. And once again, we have someone killed before they could even make it into the Hunt Cyclopedia. <laughs> Anyways, so he's in the hunter video. Anyways, then they free Uvo. Uvo is just like full rage. He's like, oh, where's that chain boss? I was, oh, he wants, he wants to kill the chain guy. That's the end of the episode. And, well, oh yeah, earlier on in the episode, we have an amazing, amazing, amazing scene with Kizuka meeting up with Karapika. This episode had so much in it, so much. So, you have Hiska meeting up with Karapika, and he says to Karapika, oh yeah, let's do a team up. He's like, I want to fight Crawler Lucifer. He's like, I want to fight him because he turns me on just the thought of fighting him. So anyways, there's a prospective team up. We all know it's going to team up because 
a plot plot like a plot point like this doesn't just turn up and then Krabby says no and then nothing happens. So obviously Krabby is gonna team up with Hisika. But anyways. So what do I think of the episode? I thought it was a pretty damn good episode. I think Madhouse did an excellent job pretty much hitting all the right notes and everything. The music arrangement could have been a little bit better. I do think Chain Bastard should have started playing once he hit him in the face, once Krabby hit Uvo in the face. But instead of played when he was asking the questions, which was okay, but I think it would have been a bit better place. The episode overall was a really it was a build up episode. We know what's gonna happen next episode. Shit's gonna go down. Shit is going down. Next episode I predict is gonna end with a certain two characters meeting. If you saw us from preview, you probably know who it is already. I'm not gonna say it's just gonna not spoil it. This episode was damn fucking good. And if you're not watching Hunter Hunter, you should be. You, by all right, you should be, because this episode is just proof of how well structured the series is, the amazing story it tells, and the way it's just, it's like, it's really complicated what actually happened. Like, all these miscommunications just ended up with the Mafia getting involved, wanting to, you know, go to the troop, the troop wanting to go to the Mafia. So anyways, everything is pretty much really complicated, but at the same time, it's pretty, pretty damn simple. And the way he's constructed the story is just so natural, everything flows, and this episode was a great example of that. We had a lot of intertwining character threads and all this sort of stuff, and it was really just fucking good. So if you're not watching Hunter x Hunter, go and crunch your roll right now, go watch it, I'll put the link to the episode in the description below. Go watch this episode, you should be watching it. You should be watching this series. It's easily one of the best shows out there right now. It's my favourite show in the series. So, go watch that shit. Okay. I will be doing more of these mini reviews throughout the week, so stay tuned to the Capture Computers YouTube. You can subscribe up below up above and like like down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode as well. And yeah. Hello and goodbye.